Mr. Dog Poop called me in to fix another one of his problems. He has these Y-Fang tripods with wheels, three inch wheels on the bottom that he uses around the studio. The problem is they're starting to make noise. So I have to assume that the bearings are bad. I'm gonna take it apart and try to replace the wheel bearings. Mr. Dog Poop purchased these about 10 to 15 years ago, and we see them come back available on eBay. So we went ahead and ordered some of them, but we got this. This is what they're selling now. It's not a bad little unit. It expands out. We bought a bunch of them to put our light stands in. It's not quite as big. Problem is, they're small compared to these wheels. When you put it on the floor and roll it around, this is gonna bump everywhere, hit everything, and show every action on the camera. The reason we use big wheels is because they roll over seams in the floor, silky smooth. If you use a little wheel, you can feel the bump. So we took the wheel apart and found out what the problem is. There is no bearing. It's just a plastic wheel with a shaft through it, and the shaft isn't even straight. So the only thing making this thing spin is the fact that there's a little bit of grease on it. It's not smooth at all, and there's a lot of play. We can't use the wheels. We can't find replacement casters. Obviously, we want to replace the wheels. So I went out and bought Cerberus 80 millimeter skateboard wheels. 80 millimeters is almost three inches, and that will replace the existing wheel. The softer and the bigger they are, the smoother they're gonna roll. But you can see this is a little bit bigger. This is 80 millimeters, and I believe this is 60. The black wheel is a hard rubber, and the white wheel is a soft rubber. As you can see, the diameter is relatively close. So I think that this will fit onto here. Problem is, the bolt's too small. So I went out and bought 10 millimeter bolts, skateboard bearings, and a bunch of washers. So, in order to use a bigger axle, to drill these holes out to a larger size. I'm going to hold this with a pair of pliers and drill this out. Now the other side, the holes should line up because we have, because we already have a hole which is centered. And just do this carefully, don't go too fast. You can deburr these with a little sandpaper or a file. Okay, so we got our 10 millimeter bolt. We've drilled it out using the same holes as a guide. These wheels come without bearings, but we have to put bearings in them. Bearings. Make sure your bearings are pressed in or your sleeve is gonna slide around. We're gonna go ahead and put the bearings in by hand. You're gonna have a spacer so the bearings can be pushed together. And these are the fastest speed bearings we could get. So if we compare that to this, and you can see that wheel is shaking all over when you spin it, because it's not. Tolerances are too high. This is gonna give us bearings and a super soft surface. Another reason I wanna use these is because they have these brakes, and a lot of the skateboard wheels don't have brakes. And a tripod dolly is pretty useless if you can't keep it in one place. So these are really nice brakes. They go right down into the wheel. So this is gonna work. The brake, definitely hold it, but we're gonna need spacers in there. So to full in, fill in this extra space, we're gonna use some washers. Looks like we'll need maybe four. If I put this washer in, it's gonna hit this part of the bearing and this part of the bearing, and they move separately. Your inside is held and the outside moves with the wheel. So to prevent that from happening, we have washers that are specifically made to fit that space and we put in our next washer, it will not be rubbing. 
Make sure you get these washers, which are made specifically for skateboard bearings, to go on there and space it out. I'm going to put two washers and the small washer on each side. So getting these lined up is a little bit of an issue. I'm going to use a paper clip bent out so that I can see in here and get that lined up so the bowl can go through. I can fit one more washer in there. These bolts were a little bit long, but it's what I could get. So I'll go ahead and put a washer on the outside and we'll just cut them off when we're done. And even if we tighten that up, that wheel still spins. It's not making that noise. This wheel, this wheel, perfectly quiet. So the brake is still working perfectly. It locks the wheel, in fact, even better. And that should be super smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other two wheels, put it together, and we'll compare the new one and the old one. I'm gonna cut off this excess with a cutoff wheel so this doesn't get hung up on anything or get in the way. Now for the test. So the question is, did it work? Here's what we had. And here's what we have now. So the brakes work just like they did. And the nice thing is this is super smooth to spin around and pivot and get cinematic shots. That wheel locks, they all lock. You put it in place, leave it to the maintenance man to make it better. That is super smooth, super quiet, no matter where you go with it. We used 80 millimeter with a 76A hardness so they're very soft, they're very smooth, compared to, these are really just commercial casters that one, they're making a lot of noise. They don't move very well. That's what we have. And I think that pretty much speaks for itself. 20 to $30, you get four wheels, bearings and spacers, and you can take your shitty $40 dolly and make it into something that is ready to make movies. If Mr. Duck Poop isn't happy with that, he's never gonna be happy with anything. There's no comparison, right? Right? I mean, this is, that's sweet.